In this video, Katrina is going to blind date five guys based on their cars. Historically, chicks have always digged nice cars. Is this your car? Is this your car? Is this your car? But today, what kind of car will Katrina go for? Stick around until the end of the video to find out. But first, let's meet our bachelorette. Um, I feel like I don't really have a type. I'm big on like vibes, just like how well we like this like conversation, like banter back and forth, like if our laughter is the same. Physically like tall, good style. So what kind of car are we turn on? I don't like honestly like any any nice car. I recently went out with somebody who drove a G-Wagon, so like that was nice. And it had red interior and like the LED lights, so, like that's nice. But I was in a Maserati recently and I only know that because of the name. Could never point it out, could never anything. So honestly, just the ones that I know the names. And what kind of car would be a turn off for you? You know when they're like miscolored like door handles or miscolored doors? I don't know if like a headlight was missing. Maybe like the car guy cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are probably like a turn off because like then that's making me think that you're one of those people who race on the road. I'd be so embarrassed if I was in the car and you started racing somebody. What would it take for you to find those? I vibe with them behind the thing and then see them and then the vibe matches the person. But yeah, I don't know. I think that's it. Okay, they all kind of look the same low key, but yeah. I didn't know that Toyota made cars that look like that. They shouldn't. <laughs> okay, I'm Katrina. I'm from Seattle. I drive a mom car, but I fucking love it. I don't want another car. I drive a 2013 Honda CRV. Her name's Molly after the Tiger song. Contestant number one. Introduce yourself, please. Hi, Katrina. Uh, my name is Hunter. Perfect that you drive a mom car because my car does not have back seats. I'm a little bit of a go-getter. Uh, I love to travel. Love the sound of that. Okay. Okay, what kind of car do you drive? It is a 2020 Toyota Supra. Why do you choose to have a car with no back seat? Because uh, honestly, I just believe in one seat for me and one seat for my queen. Back seats are kind of overrated. Might as well just get like get it all done in the front seat, you know? Okay, cool. Contestant number two, please introduce yourself. All right, I'm Eric Ford. I like to play basketball, go snowboarding, and I drive a Audi A4 2012. Okay, okay. Contestant number three, introduce yourself, please. How's it going, Katrina? Uh, my name is Justin. I remember you said you're from the Pacific Northwest. Let's go. Um, I'm from there. Um, I drive a 2014 Ford Mustang. Okay, what part of the PNW are you from? Northern California. Oh, I'm from Reading. Oh, no way, bro. Yes, sir. <laughs> Got a house up there. I know. They're about to kiss back here. <laughs> the it sounds like it. Contestant number four. My name's Aaron. I drive a Tesla. I like to work out. I like traveling a lot. Love, love that. Do you use the self-driving on it? So I've I've been asked this a million times. The self-driving is cool and everything. I just like the pickup on it. I don't know if you've ever been in one. Like that thing will beat an Audi R8 right off the line. Like you'll feel it just zip right in the back. Um, I would personally just rather drive it than have the thing drive itself, but... Okay, yeah, I feel like that's a smart answer. I feel like the, the self-driving is kind of sketch sometimes. Number five, introduce yourself, please. Hey, Katrina, my name is Charlie. I drive a 2018 Audi RS3, and I um, just want to get it off the bat. I'm faster than everyone here, real quick. Just need to make that <laughs> wow. well known and assert my dominance, but uh, I know you'd look pretty in my front seat, so I just need to get that all out the way right now. Mm. Okay, nice. Rada, is that what that says yes, on your car? Did you put that on there? Yeah, so that uh, is actually a shop that helped build my car. I don't know, just repping the car shop is just a little, <laughs> I don't know. Hey, they, uh, <laughs> they put a lot of parts in that car for free. I, I'm sponsored, so you know. Yeah, I gotta, yeah, no, I feel you, you gotta. The sticker's off now if it makes, it, it makes you feel any different, just saying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if I was a cop and I pulled you guys over, what would you say or do to get out of the speeding ticket? Contestant number five. You know, maybe try to be like, I wasn't going that fast. Or I might be like, you really want to see some speed. And I'd be like, just let me give you a ride real quick. And then you don't need to give me a ticket because you understand like car that fast, you can't drive slow. So you just got to go fast or not at all. Oh, okay. So you'd gaslight me. No, I, yeah, I would for sure give them a ticket. For sure. I'm running. <laughs> Okay, number four, how would you get out of a speeding ticket if I was to pull you over? First of all, I don't, I've never been pulled over, oh. actually. I think I would just, you know, just be a good boy, just try and comply, try not get in any trouble, not gaslight you. 
Okay, nice, nice, good answer. There's nothing wrong with gaslighting a cop. Agreed, but not when it's me. No, I think it's like a good thing that he hasn't been pulled over. I'm a good boy. Okay, number three, what would you do if I pulled you over? So if you were the cop that pulled me over a month ago, this would have been perfect. Cop pulls me over for going too fast, um, comes up to the window. He's like, you know how fast you're going? I'm like, sir, yes. I was trying to get home before my pizza gets cold. We're gonna be here a while, you want a slice? He loved it, started laughing. Hopefully you would do the same thing. I like that answer. I, I low-key I low key would let you get out of that one for sure. What kind of pizza was it though? Pepperoni mushroom. Gross. The mushroom Ooh. saved you. I might have to walk out because she likes mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number two, what would you do if I pulled you over? Uh, I would say it's like two, three miles back, there was a guy that flashed a gun at me. I was trying to drive as fast as I could to get away from him, officer, I swear. Okay, I have to put that answer too. Cause it's like, who am I gonna tell you that that didn't happen to you, you know? Okay, number one, what would you do? I'm definitely gonna challenge you in rock, paper, scissors. Uh, loser has to pay the ticket. So proceed at your own risk. Okay, nice. Yeah, I think I would definitely let you pass that one cause I don't think I want the smoke. I think I will eliminate contestant number five, just because I just feel like we just weren't vibing. Hi, nice Hi. to meet you. Nice I love your you. hair. Thank you, thank you. So what do you not like about being gaslit? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's just not like insanely my type. Looks wise. Contestant number one, what is the freakiest thing that you have done in your car? It can't be like too much because there's no back seat, but what is the freakiest thing you've done in your front seat? Uh, I've definitely f***ed in the front seat. Uh, <laughs> as you can imagine, there's not a lot of room, but I mean, we, we made it work. I believe it. I've done that too in the front seat, so I oh, believe it. Oh, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> okay, number two. So I kind of respect my car a little too much, so I haven't done a lot. Um, I have gotten top in it though. Okay, is it because of the respect for the car? Yeah. Or other things? No, okay. yeah, I, I respect the car too much. I don't want to get all the, you know, fuck over it. <laughs> it. Yeah, it's like normal. It's like, I feel like everyone's done that. Contestant number three, what is the freakiest thing that you have done in your car? I have like smoked the all a girl, like yeah, she topped me off. And I was driving also. I like it, it's, it's a spruce up from answer number two. He said got head while smoking, which I kind of with that because it's a song lyric, so. Contestant number four. Classic like inside leg grab, I think is probably like, the craziest thing I've done in there. <laughs> yeah, so I got, it got a little, there was zero room for Jesus. Is there like a reason? Like, is it just cause it's newer? You just didn't want to? Leather seats, like I don't want anyone sticking to that. I just drove home faster and I was like, all right, let's build a little more tension. Okay, nice. Contestant number one, what is your biggest red flag? I don't know, I'd probably care more about my car than you. No, I didn't like that answer, no. I feel like I would definitely want to be number one. So, contestant number two, what is your biggest red flag? Well, I'm not on my phone a lot, so I normally take like a day to respond, um, just because I prefer to live life to the fullest, like in person and not be on my screen. No, I fuck with that, because I'm literally the same way. Yeah, it'll literally take me like a day or three to like respond sometimes. Okay, contestant number three. Did I have mommy issues? <laughs> <laughs> when did you leave, bro? When I was like eight. When I was three, dog. <laughs> the bonding. Because <laughs> having mommy issues isn't really like a red flag, but like what do you do that stems from your mommy issues? That's a red flag. I'm attracted to girls with daddy issues. <laughs> I mean, I also have daddy issues, so. <laughs> I've also dated a lot of guys with mommy issues, so. Contestant number four, what is your biggest red flag? There's gonna be definitely times where you just no text back for like a month or two because I'm just out like in the middle of like a different part of America. A month is crazy because you're messaging somebody. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I'll still like your Instagram pictures. <laughs> I'll put a fire emoji on a story every now and again. But not even a text back is crazy. What about a FaceTime? Oh, we can do FaceTime. Yeah, I just no texting. I'll show you. I'll show you the cool things that I'm doing. Other women. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you have in mind who you want to kick out? Oh yeah, I knew instantly. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the person I am eliminating is contestant number one. 
How's it going? Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice Hunter. to meet you, Katrina. You didn't like my answer or what? No, I didn't. <laughs> I feel like I want to be number one, and if I know your car is number one. Have you seen that thing? I, I have, I have. I'm looking right at it. <laughs> so I feel like that's just that's just why I'm just too, I'm just too needy. I just need to be number one. It's it's outside if you want to give me another chance. Okay, okay, yeah. I'll think about it. <laughs> no, not the, the not the most my type. Contestant number three, where would you drive me on a first date? Oh, what kind of things you like to do? Uh, let's just say I like to go out to eat. Okay, what's your favorite kind of food? I like sushi. Sushi, so raw sushi. I don't know if you're an outdoors person, but lake day sounds fun. I don't know if I'd go to the lake with somebody on a first date. Cause you don't know them, you know? Okay, number two. Take you to a car meet probably. You could walk around, it's a good environment just to get to know each other and talk. Uh, maybe grab a drink, like some boba or something. It'd be pretty chill. I don't think I've ever gone on like a, a boba first date. It seems just a little middle schooly to me. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> But the car meet though, that's the, that's the most important part. Okay, we're going on a car meet for our first date. Yeah, it's like a car meet, yeah. Okay, yeah, love that. Okay. Not for Boba? No, for... <laughs> for Tesla? Kind of want us to both do something that, um, or like see something go somewhere that neither of us have been yet. There is a place that just opened in Phoenix. It is a rooftop bar. Yeah, I definitely love going out for drinks. So that is, love that. Perfect. And the planning the planning and not just asking me where I want to go. I think I am going to eliminate contestant number two. Just the, the boba and the car, what you said, car meat? So, but <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I super love that on Sorry. a first date. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. No, you're missing out. The car meets are fun. What's and, fun about them? I um, mean, you just get to go see a cool, bunch of cool cars, walk around, and it's a good environment to- What like, if I'm not into But I'm into it, so around. like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, you okay. Do something I like, now you do something you like. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Doing something you like on a first date. Yeah. Love that. Nice, nice to meet you too. Uh, he's the most looking out of my type from what I've seen. All right, based off of some of the questions that you know we went over, um, we talked about drinking, we talked about this, we talked about that. I feel like you definitely have like a club personality. I definitely do. I honestly love clubbing and going out for sure. I'm a big music festival guy. Love music festivals. Which ones are your favorites? I like dubstep, personally. Um, I know that's not a lot of people's tastes. What about you? What kind of music do you like? I like like R and B and like rap. So I love like Rolling Loud. Oh, like cool. that's my favorite festival. We were talking about the red flags earlier too, and I was like, one that like I've been called out to is like when I started actually liking a girl like a lot, like. I get, I definitely get like clingy. Like that's definitely one I've been called out on before. I think some have called it controlling. I personally prefer a little more protective. Okay, what's like the furthest you've gone for like your protectiveness? The biggest ones are probably like, hey, like I just don't want you like going to this, something like that. Like, I mean, the classic joke right now is the like girls Miami trip. I'd be like, all right, I don't know if I trust that one or not. How do you show affection in a relationship? I'm a very touchy person. For like walking around and about, I want to hold your hand, or like in the car, and I grab your leg, like that kind of stuff. I'm PDA? a very- Honestly, no. Yeah, at the club or some sh I think that I don't like that. So if I kissed you in the club, you'd reject me? No, but like tongue down your throat, macking on you. I, I, I'm not going to do that in the middle of the club, you know? So what, what about you? Yeah, I'm definitely pretty touchy. I like like to like touch low key at like all time. I don't know. Earlier I said I'm pretty clingy, so I feel like guys don't get like a lot of compliments. So I love like complimenting like my man. The Miami trip, like, do you just you wouldn't trust me, or you? What about the Miami trip? Or do not? Like, I mean, the classic one that like you see, it's like it's like, hey, like my friend, she's we're planning a girls trip to like Miami. Oh, now like one girl's boyfriend has like 10 guys. And I'd be like, all right, that's, that's a bit too much for me. But like, if you were just going on like a normal trip, I don't think that'd be like insane. I have gone to Miami multiple times and I was in a relationship two of the times that I've gone. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no, Miami's, Miami's cool. <laughs> so what if, what if somehow I did, will not convince you to let me go because honestly I'm the type to just go. So what if I told you like we're going on a yacht? Oh, whose yacht, dude? What? We didn't pay for it. <laughs> we didn't pay for it. It's a free yacht. Oh, okay. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, you can totally, yeah. Hey, have fun. You do you. Could you see us hanging out after this? Yeah, I could. Can you see us hanging out after this? Only if you don't play dubstep. <laughs> 
I think we can make it work. Do you see us hanging out? Yeah, I mean, I definitely think we could like go like get drinks or something like that. Um, do you see us hanging out? Yeah, I'd be down to hang out and like drink and see where see where it goes. What is one thing you guys want me to know about you guys before I make my decision? Overall, if you get one vibe from me, it's I feel like I'm pretty easy going. I'm just trying to have fun. Um, good drinking, buddy. Mustang, what is one thing you'd want me to know about you before I make my decision? Um, if you decide that you do want to let me take you on a date, I'll make sure that you won't stop laughing. I'm funny. I feel like they just both made this harder. <laughs> both of them were good answers. The person I am eliminating is, I think, the Mustang. Uh, the dubstep, not a big liker, and then I think the drinking buddy one just kind of won. But hi, nice to meet you. You don't, don't like, like dubstep? dubstep? No. No? Uh, <laughs> no, I like music with words. Okay, yeah. fair enough, no robot music. Looks wise, not like the most my type. She's pretty. Not the prettiest I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the winner is the Tesla. <laughs> Am I nervous? Hi. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Doing good. good. Um, yeah, you should have picked the last guy. Um, <laughs> what do I ask now? Do I get your number or I don't know how this works? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> can I can't get your phone number. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to win. Um, his shirt matches my nails, kind of. She's cool. I like her. Okay, we're both Asian, so. I didn't. I couldn't tell that actually. We can do. We can do Instagrams or phone numbers. Yeah, you can have my Instagram. Sounds good. If you enjoyed this blind date, click right here and watch another one with us. Perfect. That was it. Woohoo! Yeah,